Welcome to The Quiet Room Brought to you by the creator of Truth Well Told, Tarot Your space for relaxing music, meditation and sleep enhancement Join me on my new channel I'll leave all the details below The Quiet Room Hello Leo and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your next three months tarot reading for the sign of Leo. Sun, moon, rising in Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Leo. What I've done is I've taken the cards here from your yearly tarot reading. I've pulled out the relevant months. I'll link your yearly tarot reading below. So we have July, we have the Eight of Swords, Five of Cups is August, and we have September with the Two of Cups. So I'm going to pull some additional cards for each month. We'll go through any individual messages that I'm getting or across the board, because a lot can happen in one month alone, three in different areas of our life. So let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Leo for the next three months, Angel Spirits Guides? We have the chariot. We've got the six of wands. Interesting. Two cards of victory side by side. With that, we have another six. We've got the six of swords. Sorry, six of cups. Let's see what we have. Five of cups. Queen of wands, male or female, could be Leo. Go-getting, driven, action-orientated, courageous, charismatic. With that, we have the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Empress. Let's see what we have for you with the Two of Cups. Message for Leo. Message for Leo. Nine of Cups. Two of Wands. Eight of Cups. All right, Leo. So let's start with July. So the Eight of Swords is when we're stuck because, you know, our mind keeps us stuck. Sometimes it can be negative thought patterns or sometimes we can tell ourselves that we, we can't move forward or we can't do the things that in reality we can do. Sometimes we just have to overcome our mental block, our mental reasoning or logic in some way, you know, and, and understand how we can find solutions in terms of moving forward. But sometimes we don't move forward because there are reasons. So it's whatever your mind is telling you with the Eight of Swords. Uh, there is that kind of mental stuck energy. In reality, this person isn't stuck. This person could quite freely wriggle out of the loose shackles, remove the blindfold and walk away. These swords aren't actually encasing or encaging this person. You know, and sometimes we have to realize that, that sometimes our mental perspective can keep us stuck, how we're looking at things. For other reasons, it can sometimes be where we feel that things are beyond our control and we don't know how things are moving forward because things are beyond our control. You know, uh, for others of you, like I said, sometimes we feel, actually, I'm not moving forward down that path. So this is the energy at play here with the Eight of Swords. It's stuck energy for whatever reason. Now, Leo, if you are... If you are waiting for some kind of significant victory, triumph, success to come your way, these cards can be winning, triumph, success, achievement over difficulty or challenge, over obstacles. Again, again, the Six of Cups can be linked with us coming back to ourselves, us finding our happy place, you know, uh, coming back to our happy um, equilibrium, you know. It can be a great card of delight, the Six of Cups. 
it can also be linked with um, a place or a person that has been that we've been linked to before that we have happy memories with nostalgia with in some way you know so yes it has roots to links to family to places that you might have worked to people that you might have um been in connection with before again there is that sense here of of reconnecting to the past in some way whether it's through a person or whether it's through a place is the same kind of energy but the the chariot and the six of wands is is victory triumph success so this is the energy at play here you don't know if you're going to be successful I think that you're very clear in what you want the outcome to be I think that there is a lot of determination and perseverance in terms of, of what you want the outcome to be in July. But there's a level of, of being stuck. Sometimes we have to wait for things to, uh, for information to come in. Like I said, that sense of sometimes feeling that we're trapped in a situation and we can only do we, what we can do. And it might not be that you've got all the answers in July. You're, you're trapped in a situation and you can only do what you can do. Wider factors are at play here. So you might be waiting on something to come in here for you. This can be the energy here. Because the Five of Cups can be when there is a loss, can be linked with endings or letting something go. Um, whether it's your own business, whether it's to do with, um, again, jobs or uh, contracts being lost or you know, or something ending for you. But all is not lost in this situation. There are still two cups full. I'm going to stick with the money aspect here, Leo, because that's a thread that's coming through to me quite strongly here. Because this is when we have to kind of, sometimes, even though we feel trapped, things are beyond our control, wider forces are at play here, we can sometimes look at the negative. We can look at what's not working for us. But there's always something positive to to look forward to with the five of cups sometimes we just have to have that mental attitude you know sometimes we have to pick ourselves up and say okay I can't do anything about what's gone but I can do something about moving forward here now I respond to this situation here so this is at play here you're going to be pretty powerful in August which again for the majority of August is Leo month so I like this card for you does it take courage? Yes, with the Queen of Wands. Does it take action and perseverance and energy and drive and enthusiasm and passion? Yes, with the Queen of Wands energy, but you have it in full supply in August. So just bear that in mind um, because you've got the power to, to, to move on from something here to something better. But it takes taking control of a situation and taking charge and taking the lead in your own life. Male or female energy here, but you make it happen here, Leo. I mean, that's the energy here with the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands energy is not defeatist. Queen of Wands energy is always successful because they really don't accept any other alternative. And this is what's at play here. We have the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles. This is new abundant energy. This is new long-term stability and security. So this is what's at play here. The Empress is very powerful in terms of the creation of something new, new abundance, new job, new contract, new money aspects here. Ten of Pentacles, long-term financial security, uh, financial wealth can represent things like family businesses as well so you could be going back into the family business potentially the empress can also be a mother but not limited to that uh, but this is long-term wealth a goal achievement financial success and security coming your way it looks like that's where the focus needs to be here leo it looks like that the focus needs to be on not looking back this month, but looking at the potential that's ahead, which is the creation of something new. Spirit saying, taking charge and taking the lead in your own life, you have the power to create the new here. And that's what I'm seeing here. Now, the Two of Cups is somebody who we are a kindred spirit and soul connection with. We have a strong bond with them. You can find that within a business partnership. You can find like that with family, friendships, love, romance, and um, business, you know, business partnerships, like I said. So 
this is just that sense here of, of either you're being supported by somebody else. Two of Cups can also be linked with offers and invitations coming in from a like-minded soul or individual. If you meet this person and it's a new person that's coming into your life, you'll just instantly bond with them. You just feel that sense of, of kinship, of just deep knowingness, of getting on like a house on fire, because this is the energy at play here with the Two of Cups. Um, again, it could also be uh, about, uh, you know, relationships or friendships might be significant to you this month as well, could be in supporting you. Coming to some kind of agreement in terms of how you move forward will be the energy here as well. Because there is going to be some kind of choice. The two of wands can be choices and it can involve stepping into the unknown and not being afraid to step into the unknown should you feel the need to here. With doing that here, Leo, it's about walking away from something that doesn't serve you anymore. You can finally walk away from something that I feel is it's interesting. You started with an eight and you're finishing with an eight, but... The Eight of Swords is stuck energy, but the Eight of Cups is movement. You can see the red coat. It's inspired movement. So this is when somebody is inspired to walk away from something that doesn't serve their highest good. And it is towards something better, the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is getting your wish, wish fulfillment, getting everything that you want, your heart's desire. There, this can be very celebratory, uh, parties, celebration, it's a sense of fulfillment, satisfaction, getting exactly what you want here. It will involve some kind of choice or decision here in terms of, but I think that you're ready. I think that you're ready to make choices about your future come September time. The world is in your hands. And we have two twos here. And again, the twos can be linked with choices and decisions. But it's walking away from something that doesn't serve you towards something greater. And that's what I'm seeing for you here, Leo. So, Leo, that's what I'm getting for you, certainly in terms of, of money aspects. Now, let's have a look at other areas of life, because that was just a thread that was coming really strongly through to me. The Eight of Swords can be, like I said, can be stuck for other reasons, Especially when our mind tells us we shouldn't move forward in a particular direction. You know, that a particular direction isn't for us anymore. Because sometimes it's difficult to move on, to fully move on from A to B. To take the reins and fully move on. There could well be uh, somebody returning into your life. It could be an ex of some kind. Um, and it's with a view, can we overcome the differences between us? But you decide in terms of whether you can or if you fully move on from this. I feel here come all from, yeah, from August time, you're very empowered. And again, the Queen of Wands understands what she's looking for. Queen of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, the Empress. The Empress can be, like I said, the birth of something new. I think that... You're going to be presented here with a decision in what long-term committed relationship or marriage you want, what format that takes, the potential of something new to create something new that has the potential of long-term committed relationships. But by doing that here, Leo, with the Five of Cups, you're recognizing what's not working for you. And even though that's kind of like, sometimes we can feel a bit sad. Sometimes we think, am I making a mistake? Am I going to regret this? I don't think you are. I think that you're taking an empowered decision. Queen of Wands is not afraid to be independent. Queen of Wands is not afraid to walk through fear, you know, uh, and, and insecurity and doubt and step into the unknown, you know, because it's a pioneering energy. You know, so there is a sense here of taking charge of your life and accepting an ending, accepting letting something go with a view to hoping that there are possibilities around you to connect to someone new. I do see throughout August, there may well be someone taking your interest here. The Empress is a birth of something new that can be very powerful in terms of... of 
new love, new chemistry, new attraction. You could be meeting this through family or work. Um, you could be meeting that person through either or, to be honest, because again, the Ten of Pentacles can be things like family, um, work scenarios as well. But this can also be you're looking for long term stability and security. And I don't think the relationship that you're moving on from that you're accepting is not working for you anymore was that. It feels like it, it takes a degree of, of strength to fully move on from that person and to not get back on the merry-go-round. But it definitely feels like you have the potential of something new in August time because you know what you're looking for. And even in, I think this is playing out certainly in September time, because emotionally or physically, you're walking away from something that doesn't serve you anymore. But we take the learnings with us with the Eight of Cups. You know, we know what's work, what we're looking for with the Eight of Cups. We're looking for the Nine of Cups. Greater happiness, fulfillment, abundance, our wish, our heart's desire. So I think that you're finally ready to, to move on come September time and make the choices to step into the unknown, making choices about your future here, Leo, because there is a, a new important connection for you here. Um, the Two of Cups is my bond between two people. It can represent new love. Now, this could be somebody already in your atmosphere. It can represent friendship, moving to love romantic status. But it could also be someone, like I said, who you're meeting through the family network or a work network of some kind. Um, but this is absolutely someone that by September, there is someone new and significant in your life. And that has the potential. This is when we make choices for our future in terms of where our heart's desire lies. I think that you're finally ready to turn your, I think certainly in August, sometimes we question, have I made a mistake or did I do the right thing? Is there anybody else out there for me? You might be going through those kind of emotions, but still reconciling with, I think that you're steadfast in your decision though. And certainly by September, I do see that you're making choices about your future, even taking the risk on somebody else, because you see the potential of your future with someone new. This is what I see for you here. Let's have a look at the couple of the cards because the chariot, chariot and the six of wands, these can represent victory, triumph, success. So again, there may well be an opportunity here, Leo, uh, that you're working towards some triumph over challenge, you know, in the next three months. And that definitely feels like it, it comes to fruition, whether it's emotional or whether it's to do with money. Uh, the same energy applies. There is certainly, with the Ten of Pentacles, the additional meanings of the Ten of Pentacles, this can be to do with things like retirement planning. Um, it can also be to do with things like inheritance as well. Um, so again, there could well be an element of that. This will be the month of August. You are at your most powerful, I want to say, in August, which you would expect. Again, the majority of that is Leo season. Um, so use it, you know, this is how, however you assert yourself, however you take action, however you take charge of your life here. Uh, this is all with a view to taking control and taking the leaf of your life and moving forward. Queen of Wands is forward movement. She doesn't look back. So these are the energies at play here. And nevertheless, walking away from something that's not working for you, whether it's emotionally, moving on from it or physically walking away towards something better, something that brings you greater happiness, fulfillment, abundance, joy, a celebration, you know. So the nine of cups is you're getting your wish. This is a lovely energy at play. I'm going to pull you uh, a few cards. Let's pull you an energy card for the next three months. What do we have for Leo? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Leo. In August, Leo, just be careful. I do want to keep on re-emphasizing this. Sometimes with the Five of Cups, 
we focus on what's not working for us. You know, we focus on the negative rather than, you know, the potential around us. Just bear that in mind, because if you look at those cloaks, you see the black cloak, you've got an opportunity to turn this kind of like black cloak to that sense of red and empowerment, fire energy. This is fire card. Um, so certainly this, this is by assertion, by taking the lead and taking control, not just practically of your circumstances, but of your own energy as well. Energy card, please, for Leo for the next three months. Angel Spirits Guides. So we have man holding a heart, number 45. And we have number six, contract. Let's see what we have for you as a fortune message. What do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo? Thank you. Message for Leo. Yes, nice. We have number four, birth. Universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility. The empress is birthing energy. She is the birth of something new. New ideas, new concepts, new love, new abundance. She's all to play for. She's the creation of something new. You'll be very creative and at your most creative time in August. Finally, Leo, let's pull you a little guardian angel message to finish off the reading. I'm going to choose from this deck because they tend to stick together. So let's see what we have for you. What do we have for our lovely Leos? Next three months, Angel Spirits Guides. Your guardian angel message. Patience. Patience is required at the moment. You may feel that things are not moving as fast as you would like. Yet, there is a lot going on energetically. The current situation causing concern is evolving positively. Let go and have patience. You will eventually realize that this whole event was in fact a blessing. All is perfect as it is. Trust. You are eternally loved and guided. There's just a sense of it all falls into place, you know, but it's about focusing in the right direction here. Does that take courage? Yes, but you have that in full supply come August time. That's what I have for you, Leo, for the month, well, for the next three months. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful next three months, July to September 2024. And I will see you next time.